Hey everybody, I'm Quarry, and I'm just going to show you my cool fish tank controller. You see, this is a planted aquarium. It needs a lot of fertilizer every single day. Different fertilizers, different days. And I thought it'd be really cool if I could make something with an Arduino that kind of did all the fertilizer for me so I could sit back and relax and just look at the tank. So I put together this cool little thing, which kind of looks ugly, but you know, it works. And the cool thing is all I have to do is hit a button on my phone and right now it's dosing out fertilizer. Ain't that sweet. Hey, this right here, this is where the action happens. These two peristaltic pumps right here take all the fertilizer from in these two containers and take them all the way up to the top, all the way up there. Yes. I'm going to take this thing apart in just a second. But I just kind of wanted to show you the front of it, so you kind of get an idea of like what's going on. So you've got the two buttons in the front to dispense the fertilizer. I got a little uh, 0.98 inch OLED display I picked up on Amazon. Up here we have a little cutout that I made for a button that someday in the future I'm going to put in for turning on and off the lights. Uh, on the back here we've got two jacks for the pumps. We've got one headphone style jack for my temperature probe, and then over here we have the power supply jack. Alright, so I popped the screws off of it, but let's see what happens when I press one of the buttons. You can see that I got it to count how many milliliters are being dispensed uh, while the dispenser is going. It also shows the temperature up there at the top. It says it's zero degrees Fahrenheit right now, but that's only because the temperature probe isn't plugged in. Uh, you've also got a clock there, but I have yet to make that clock set properly. Uh, so without further ado, here is the guts of it. So on the inside, you can see the microcontroller right there. Uh, by the way, I kind of lied. This is not actually an Arduino. This is a ESP8266, which is kind of like a totally cool, souped up, uh, way better than Arduino chip. It's got Wi-Fi built into it. And it has like a heck of a lot more RAM. It's got like four megs worth of storage on there. It's got a faster CPU. Uh, it's got more IO pins. You could do PWM on every single pin. And it costs just as much as the Arduinos do. Over in the side here, we have a clock chip. Uh, we've got our buck converter there. Uh, we've got our motor controller down here that controls the two motors. Right over there, you can see the jacks. Uh, and then that plugs up to the button and to the OLED. Uh, all of this was soldered down on perf board, uh, which looks very much like this LED controller I made. So on the back, you've got all the cool little connections. Uh, you've got the ESP8266 chip right here again on this particular one. Uh, these things were only like nine bucks on Amazon. Uh, uh, they're all available on Prime. I think you can get them for like two bucks on AliExpress. Highly recommended. Uh, and that's kind of the guts of this whole operation. So one of the goals of this project was to be able to control my fish tank through my mobile phone using something like Apple's HomeKit. Uh, Apple's HomeKit, if you're not familiar, is basically Apple's kind of home automation solution. Uh, and it turned out this was actually pretty darn easy to do thanks to this little cool thing called Homebridge. And what Homebridge is, is kind of like this little server that sits between all of your devices and the Apple HomeKit API. So to get this working, I had to get myself a little Raspberry Pi uh, that kind of is just sitting around. It's kind of like the server for all of this stuff. And it's running two critical things. It's running the Homebridge shim which goes between my uh, devices and the Apple ecosystem, their home automation thing that they call HomeKit. All right, so really quick, let's just look at the messages that kind of go across the wire between the fish tank controller hardware and HomeBridge. So I'll show you. Basically, every five seconds or so, uh, the controller, the fish tank hardware, sends a message into the queue and right now we're looking at it so it says that the fish tank is uh, 24.31 degrees centigrade and both buttons are turned off so if I take 
uh, home kit and I log in and let's go here and let's turn on one of the pumps and in the background I could hear that pump running uh, you could see that the little icon says that it's running now and if you look at the screen one of the buttons pump number one is now true and uh, it's still running and now I hear it turned off and it went to false so that's basically what goes on there little thing right here. Like I said, it looks really, really ugly because I don't have a Dremel tool, but it freaking does the job. As you can see, it's dispensing trace and macronutrients if it were plugged in right now. So that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching this project. I'll post a link to the source code on GitHub and uh, have a nice day.